Chiquilla! It's your boy Fistina in his house. We're bringing another great edition of Call of Duty for me to you because that's what I do. What's going on, guys? Hey, guys. What's going on? No, I, just, I can't stand that when I hear that all the time. It's so annoying. But anyways, getting on to, I think this is episode five, getting better at Call of Duty in general, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and I'm watching all these videos online. Everybody's style is different. I notice some people, in order to be more efficient, some people play hardcore to get their deatomizers, their nukes, stuff like that. I mean, the whole thing is, like, yeah, you know, you try to make a name for yourself, you're dropping nukes, you're doing it on hardcore. There's nothing wrong with that. And that's your thing. I think the hardest part is the, the time to kill in a core game and all the stuff that's going on. It's hard to get all those things to go in your direction and staying alive and, and getting it done running solo because so many things can happen. So... You really can't get discouraged about those things because, I mean, it's, you're really not competing against nobody but yourself. All you can do is get better every single day. I mean, I mean, there's only two things that can happen. You're either getting better or you're getting worse. And that's just a general affirmation in life. You're either getting better or you're getting worse. So you, you, you got to look at everything, you know, in, in this game. It's, it's, here's the thing. The game is really fun once you learn the movement. So in episode 5, let's talk about movement. I want to I want to test you and say, look, use the movement, use the walls. Test yourself and try to run on the walls as much as you can and shooting people. In general, it'll help you to get better as far as aiming because once you learn how to shoot people from running on the walls, then anything else will be a lot easier, like jumping up in the air, using different weapons, combining those actions together, and, and it just it makes everything easier. So I, I guess the other thing would be to make the game as difficult as possible. You know, when a new Call of Duty comes out and a beta is out, try all the weapons. And that's another thing. Try all the weapons. Try all the combinations. Yeah, your kill-death ratio is going to go down the toilet. But, in the end, you're going to know what to defeat other characters in different setups. You know, you're going to know how to beat those things. If you don't, it, Here's the thing. If you don't learn those things, then when somebody beats you with a certain setup, you're just more apt to just say, I quit. I'm done playing. That's just with every video game. But it's just more, it's more often with this game than any other game. You know, I mean, Infinite Warfare gets a lot of bad slack, bad bad press, bad hate. And the main thing is the reason why this game gets so much hate is because there's a, the, a lot of the big YouTubers that are constantly being fed by Activision, they're not any good at this game. T. Martin's not any good at this game. I mean, uh, your Ali A's aren't any good at the game. I mean... You can name them, they're endless. There's a lot of people that are not good at this game. So what advice could they possibly give you that could help you? I mean, you see all these people like KS Silencer and these other people saying, Oh, Modern Warfare Remastered and and like these old school guys going to this game because they can't chew bubblegum and talk at the same time. You know, I mean, it's, I think it's pretty lame excuse, you know. Or, or the esports players, you know, jumping all around and all this sliding and snaking and this and that. Look, it's in the game. I mean, if you this game is built 6v6. It's not built for just esports players. And if esports players don't like it, and it's not part of the social stratosphere of them liking it in social media and blah, 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 then it's a bad game. You know, so everybody jumps off the bandwagon. Bottom line is, this game takes a lot of time to master. So, and you got to think about it this way, too. We're talking, you know, you don't see, like, uh, Scumpy going into a 6v6 team deathmatch and dropping the atomizers. I don't even think he's dropped one yet. He came close, but I don't think he's dropped one yet. So the point being is, it's a different ball of wax than a 6v6 team deathmatch. 
There's a lot of stuff going on. So don't think that you're not doing good because there's a tons of YouTubers and haters and esports players that are not doing any good as you as good as you either. So you know, I mean, whether they be run into a uh, uh, hardcore game or some other game, they're not doing in quarantine deathmatch by themselves. Nobody is. So uh, like I said. Everybody says, oh, Team Deathmatch is so easy to play, but I don't see them dropping the, the nukes by themselves. I don't even see pro players doing it. So don't count yourself out. And don't be one of the little chicken shit people who run away and say, I got to go play Modern Warfare Remastered because that game is all about choke points. And that's where I'm going to be at. And like, and come on, it's ABC 1, 2, 3. It's not complicated. When you put when you get play a game that slows down like that. Here's the sad part. People are going to be upset when the new ones come out and it's going to be slow paced. What do you think's going to happen? What do you think's going to happen if people camp in this game? What do you think they're going to do in a game that's all about camp? So don't get discouraged at this game. There's a lot of people that suck ass at this game that are used to be high level players. And they're not. So I say to you challenge yourself don't judge yourself against other people's gameplay you can only get better by yourself you know and i say run on the walls learn to move and shoot at the same time this game is based around movement you're not going to sit there you might get away with it a couple times camping on some people but at the end of the day if you come against somebody that knows how to use the stick they're gonna get destroyed you're gonna get your story son you can get the beat down so I hope this helped you out a lot in episode 5. Learn the movement. Learn the game. It's your boy, Fist. Until next time. Peace. Yeah, I'm out. Leave your comments. And anything you want me to cover. Below. With a like. Yee yee. Alright. Until next time. Peace. I'm out. Love this game. Love the community. I'm never... Ever, unless it's Advanced World Warfare, then I'll be out. <laughs> All right, later, dudes.